ang kwetso. Ang mga mga pagkakas ng to, kaya mga kaya nito ay sa mga kaya ay siya kaya ng to ni ang mga mga som Robert Ka Chun Tei, Rom Mr. B Ka Pekda y Lok Nun Chie, nambay mga mga kaya ng mga tang sumod ni Dao ni Po Sa Sai Rong Di, Tung Chui. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm Jasper Pao. I am Jasper Pao, International Counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chie. I have a number of questions for you this afternoon. And I would like to talk to you first about the 1970 ອັນນີ້ຄືຄວາມຄິດຂອງຄຸນຕາມຄວາມຄິດຂອງຄຸນຕາມຄວາມຄິດຂອງຄຸນຕາມຄວາມຄິດຂອງຄຸນຕາມ
and just so I understand Some correctly, the, the people that were hit by the American bombs, uh, were they killed by the American bombs? But Do you know what so happened no, with um, the bodies of the people uh, that died because of the American bombardments? The slap began to let crop by American people to away recall young make die. But Nunkum Kobansu near Del Naru Nunke Tayoto Cop a short war lever. And do you know what happened to the people that were wounded by the American bombings? But at the old day, Croy Mocky and give more than by Do I understand Some your answer correctly, Mr. Sarsarun? A lot of people were evacuated to escape the bombings. Was uh, that an incorrect summary of your answer? But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, in your testimony last week, you used the term carpet bombing. Can you explain what you mean with the word carpet the You've spoken about the B-52s, uh, those are airplanes. Did you ever see American helicopters or gunships in Mandukiri? I take him as caller, You've seen American airplanes and you've seen American helicopters. Have you also seen American soldiers in Mandukiri province? But the American 
bọc mò bị Việt Nam kháng cự bông nữa chết đã không còn tay nó không sốc bị chân đà kháng khét bị bọc mò bay bay một ruồi như vậy kháng khét nữa phua khét mò kháng kẹt xe mà nó có chết đã là trùng một tuần khét cái chết vậy Mr. Sosarun, do you know why the Americans were bombing Mamdokiri? Thank you, Mr. President. We object to the questions calling for speculation from the witness unless the foundation as to why this witness would have personal knowledge of the motives or actions of the U.S. government. Mr. President, I'm happy to rephrase the question. Mr. Sosaroon, at the time, in the 1970s to 1975 did people talk about what they thought was the reason for the American bombardments? Mr. Sarsarun, I understand you don't understand the question well, so with permission of the President, I will try to make it a bit clearer for you by um, showing a document to you, this document D222-1.19, it is a DC camp publication. Um, and it speaks about Mandokiri in the 1970s, and it contains a statement by a person from Mandokiri who was there at the time. So if I um, have permission from the President to share this document on the screen. The title of the document will be complete is Khmer Rouge Purges in the Mandokiri Highlands. And the excerpt I want to show is the ERN 003976 Đại bàn thân là xong đạn nơi chụp một ông chụp ra hơi rừng nơi Thầy bà đạn đạn bình cá là hay nơi khăn ông bình chì nà mùi Nơi ai cả xá đại bán Thân là xong đạn nơi chụp một ông chụp ra Chụp ra Mr. President, as, as you know, our position is that we um, should be able to use any document to impeach a witness, and especially uh, a document such as this DC camp publication. ไอ้กษาณามุยได้เพื่อกี้มีบำนองปราบปราชญ์ในจุดพมกองยมเรียไอ้กษาณุปุ่มต้นตัวตัวบานจำนวนขณะเชื่อไอ้กษาอีบาย
ដូច្នេះសូមលោកពិនិត្យលើទៅដីណែនាំរបស់អង្គនិយមរដ្ឋចុងថ្ងៃទី Mr. President, um, for the record, I think that would be a violation of my client's right to effectively question his witness, but this document is mentioned on the prosecution's submission uh, and can be found in document number E109-4.19, and it's at number 176. But again, we think this is redundant information and what is relevant the actual document that we are talking about. Uh, yes, Mr. President, I can confirm that this is a document that uh, we have included in our uh, annexes, um, so we would not object on that basis. Our only objection would be, or our limitation would be that the question be something that relates directly to the witness's knowledge and that it not be used uh, for him to speculate on something that is outside his knowledge. អញ្ញមរះចង់ដឹងតំណឹងជាបឋមប្រសិនបើឯកសារដែលមិនមានលេខ <coughs> Miss President, uh, thank you, but I'm confused as to with what I should proceed. Um, should I provide reasons for relying on a document that has been submitted by the OCP and that the OCP does not object to? Should I file a request to have this admitted as new evidence, even though it, this document comes from the prosecution? Or shall I proceed with my questioning? Some guidance would be appreciated. អនុញ្ញាតឲ្យលោកសួរតែងដល់តាមតំណើរប្រវត្តិសាស្ត្រវិញ្ញាបានគាត់ទំគាល់ហើយ <coughs> Thank you, Mr. President. I will then proceed and with your permission, if the documents can be shown on the screen, uh, the document with ERN 0397610, is that indeed? And I will read the um, relevant excerpt for the witness because the witness cannot read it himself. And I quote, and again this is a statement by a certain Troy who was a Phnom inhabitant of uh, the Mandukiri province at the time. And I quote the statement. The bombing first started in the late 1960s. The Americans came to, take, came to take action in Cambodia to fight the Vietnamese and the Viet Cong, not the people of Cambodia. This was because there were people from Cambodia, from Vietnam, who had contacted the Americans. Lon Nol made that request in order to oppose Sihanouk. Then the bombs were dropped every day. The sky became dark with the helicopters. There were many helicopters, there were many helicopter gunships and B-52s dropping bombs. When the helicopters fired, I was at Opo 
Pol in Dak Dam sub-district. The firing also hit Tuasve, Pului, Kunrun, Lamik and Lumpak. And these areas now have huge craters. And a bit further down on the same page, his statement continues, and I will read. One time my children and my wife were running away from a helicopter approaching and firing. They had been grinding rice. I knew it was American soldiers because they came to my village. The helicopters landed on the mountains in the fields everywhere. I did not understand the American language. I looked at the faces of the Americans and the Lon Nol soldiers. I was already afraid. At that time, the Viet Cong were with the Sihanouk forces and Lon Nol was with the Americans. Lon Nol asked the Americans to bomb places in Cambodia. I was angry with those who encouraged the bombing and those Americans. They mistakenly hit houses, cows and chickens. End of quote. So my question to you, Mr. So, is, at the time, during the American bombings, did you hear that Lon Nol had made the request to bomb Mandukiri in the way that the Americans did. Uh, I don't know ตําเลียรอยยึดรอยไงก็ปูเจียประกาศเลียกวนក្នុងព្រៃព្រៃចាស់ក៏ពួនមិនបានកលែងណាព្រៃចាស់កាន់ <coughs> Did you hear people talk at the time as to the possible reasons for the Americans to bomb Cambodia? Thank you, Mr. Sousarun. I will move on to a um, next topic. And that topic is a meeting that you had in Phnom Penh about um, 10 days after the liberation of Phnom Penh in April 1975. Do you remember answering questions with regard to this meeting earlier this week and last week? Do you remember Yes, Mr. Sousarun, that's bad. Uh, exactly what I want to talk about. Do you remember this meeting that took place about 10 days after the liberation of Phnom Penh in 1975? 
บาทอันนั้นคือบานจำกรอยดุมดอเจ็ดกรามเฮ้ยกบานมอประจุมอันนั้นคือโดยคุณบานจำเรียบเรื่องอันนี้เฮ้ยตัวใหญ่หนึ่งบาทสมรู้ท่านลูกนี้ช้ำเตลูกสรุนทันตาเนี่ยนะเชนเนี่ยในยี่เชนเนี่ยอุตสุนิมขนมอังประจุมนู่นาคือปอลปอลและมีอีกหนึ่งท่านใดที่ท่านมีปอลปอลในนามเสียงที่เนี่ยเพื่ออุตสุนิยมที่คราวพี่ปอลปอลตามเดลูกชามอ่ะนาตามเสียงชามอาจมีเดชมีแต่ลูกปอลปอล Last week, when you were questioned by the OCP on this meeting, you said the following, and I would like to quote from the transcripts that can be found on page 32 of the draft transcript in the English version and page 27 in the Khmer version of the transcript. And this is on day 70 of trial. And I will quote what you said during that session. The prosecution asked you, and I quote, Can you tell us who the speakers were at this meeting? And your answer is, I saw Paul Potts, who was the presenter at the time. The prosecution then asked who, in addition to Pol Pot, made presentations at this meeting. And your answer was, I did not see other presenters, I only saw just him. Do you confirm the truthfulness of this statement? But Thank you, um, Mr. Sazerun. Then I would like to have some questions about another meeting you had in Phnom Penh. And this meeting took place a few months after Lang's death. And you have testified about this meeting uh, before the co-investigating judges, and to save time with permission of the president, I will just um, read out from his statement before the co-investigating judges. It's document E3-367, um, English ERN 0027-8696. And Khmer ERN 0025 Do I have permission to simply read from the document, Mr. President? In the document, uh, in that statement, Mr. Sarsaroon, you state that about two or three months after the death of Lang and Kampun, I received a telegram from Pol Pot calling the cadres to a meeting. In its contents, six cadres, including Ta Vieng, Ta Lork, Ta Kim, Ta Lang, Ta Sophia, and myself, were called to go to a meeting in Phnom Penh. End of quotes. Do you remember going to that meeting in Phnom Penh, Mr. Sazerun? Do you recall, Mr. Sazerun, who was present at that meeting? But Jaran Group Cat Group 
Kong Paul ke mau betul anehnya ke pipan pembai ha ni. Oh pip ah mau pan pembun roy jet pembai betul sana bad. And to be sure that we are speaking about the same meeting, is that the meeting that took place a few months after the death of Lang in Kampun? Do you know, do you remember which leaders attended that conference? conference. <laughs> Do you remember the names of any of the leaders that were present at that meeting? And do you now remember the names of the leaders that were present? Do you now today remember the names of those leaders? ตัวสาวสาวนั้นขนมเป็นเนี่ยลูกอาจจำชั่วโมงเมื่อเรียนนมลูกบ้านได้หรือเต้ลูกอาจจำชั่วโมงพวกคนได้หรือเต้ I think that there may be a slight confusion as to which meeting we are talking about. So I may revisit this issue a little bit later. But uh, I thank you for your answers on this topic for now. Another topic. I would like to address is um, the prosecution and the civil parties have spoken about the telegrams that were sent between you and the center in Phnom Penh. Do you recall answering questions about that in the past week? Very well. And do you remember from whom in the center? you would receive telegrams.
In your testimony last week, which was on day 71, and I would like to again quote the transcript, and the transcript is uh, page 20 um, for the English version and page 17 for the Khmer version. And I would like to quote your um, responses to a question by the prosecutor. So the prosecutor asks you, when you received responses with instructions, who was it that would send those responses? And your answer is, the, instructions was, the instruction was given through the telegram. Prosecution asks, do you remember, though, who it was, which persons sent you telegrams, sent you instructions in response to the telegrams that you had sent? And your answer was, that I did not know them. I only knew people who assisted me in the telegram office. Do you today confirm the truthfulness of this statement that you made last week? Thank you. Moving on to a next topic for now. Um, Mr. Sao Sarun, the prosecutor asked you whether you are perhaps reluctant to testify against the accused. <coughs> and you have stated that you are not reluctant to testify against the accused. Mr. Sao Sarun, are you perhaps reluctant to testify about your own role during the DK regime? I <coughs> would like to read from a document. It's the same document that we discussed earlier. It's the uh, DC Cam publication, uh, Khmer Rouge Purges in the Mandokiri Highlight Highlands, it's document number D222-1.19, and it's on ERN 00397654. Um, and I would like to display this on the screen to ask the witness some questions regarding this document.
luk bitu bi antra chit ka bi kai lung dun chi ta ai ka sa di bi roi phoi pi slah 1 choj 19 ni ta mien chi phi sa khmae ryu ko phi sa barang dai rite Uh, no, it's not, Mr. President. Um, I trust, however, that that's not a problem, considering that I can read it to the witness and it can be conveniently translated into the other languages. It's a document that we relied upon before, in fact, uh, 20 minutes ago. Prosecution does not object, and it's relevant. It relates directly to the role of Mr. Sousaroon. And I note that the civil parties also relied on documents that were not translated into all languages, so I hope we can proceed and that I don't need to resort to summarizing this document. I think it will be much, uh, a much more pleasant experience if we can just read from this document and ask questions based on this document. That is not controversial in any way, I repeat. ឯកសារនឹងមានបកប្រែជាភាសាខ្មែររឿងI think I um, can answer that I, as far as I know, it's not translated in Khmer or French. We have not found it on uh, the case file. But again, the prosecution uh, has submitted this document for uh, your consideration at an earlier stage. So I do hope I can rely on this document. បាទនេះជាករណីពិសេសហើយយើងអនុញ្ញាតប៉ុន្តែទៅឆ្លើយ <coughs> Thank you, uh, Mr. President, for that explanation. Um, forgive me if I'm not trusting enough on these matters. Um, I will indeed proceed to um, shortly or briefly quote from this document. And again, I would like uh, ERN page number 00397654 to be put on the screen. And the, it starts on page uh, 80, which is I correct, it's ERN 653 rather than 654. But their document starts, and I quote Mr. Sousaroon, and please pay attention because I'm going to ask you a question on this excerpt, the court document, with Horm's death, Saroon, an ethnic Lao, became secretary of Region 105. The conflict between Kampun and Horm and the installation of Saroon as region secretary led to the imposition of stricter rules in the region and coincided with the period of the greatest number of deaths. And then, under the heading Flood of Killings, this document states, and I quote, many informants mark the beginning of the most radical changes in Mondo Kiri to late 1977 and 1978 when Saroon took power. And the last section I will read to you, Mr. Saroon, is just below that. 
and it is quote from a witness at DC Cam, and he stated, after Saroon became the region secretary, they arrested people every day, four or five people a day. The chief of the cooperative tried to intimidate the people to work harder by telling Saroon was going to kill the lazy people. And of quote, my question to you, Mr. Saroon, can you confirm what is stated in this document, and that is that um, your tenure as sector secretary coincided with the period of the greatest number of deaths? ອັດຕຶມຕາວເດນະຍາການັ້ນຄືທີ່ນະຍາກາມູນບັງກາດ <coughs> excerpt leads me to ask you, were you more active than your predecessor, Lang, in ordering executions of local villagers? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Sarun. A scholar, <coughs> excuse me, a scholar of the uh, Khmer Rouge regime, Mr. Steve Heder, has written an article about the role of lower level or mid level cadres in the DK, during the DK regime. And in this article, he states, and I quote, in practice, the most important level on both the chain of command and the hierarchy of delegated and discretionary authority appears generally to have been the district. <coughs> the district making district party secretaries key figures in responsibility for killings nationwide. <coughs> My question, Mr. Sarsarun, is the following. Based on Mr. Heather's research, he concludes that district secretaries were key figures in responsibility for killings nationwide because they had discretionary authority. You, Mr. Sarsarun, were a district secretary. Do you agree with this finding by Mr. Steve Hedder? Thank you. Mr. Heather, in that same article, also states that most prisoners, most prisoners were sooner or later executed on the authority of the district itself. Was that your experience in your district? Did most people get executed? on the authority 
of the district itself. But Kyung Sung Slay, Knong Srok, Boy Yung Kyung, but they'll jump John Namia, more thirty net to the bar. Mr. Sasarun, did you report to the leaders in Phnom Penh about any killings that took place in your district when you were district secretary? Mr. Sarun, did you report to the leaders in Phnom Penh about any killings that took place in your sector when you were leader of the sector? But thank you. Thank you, then. I would like to ask <coughs> excuse me, some other questions related to that, but I am at the mercy of the trial chamber in this um, endeavor. Because I would like to confront the witness with the statements of uh, trial chamber witness 307. The trial chamber witness 307 has um, given two statements that are relevant to the issues that Mr. Sao Sarun is speaking about. His statements are lie within the knowledge of what Mr. Sarun could know, and it would be conducive to ascertaining the truth to confront Mr. Sao Sarun with uh, these statements. The prosecution, we've seen it last week, has used several statements of other witnesses. These witnesses were not going to be called as trial chamber witnesses, but we have seen that such a method of questioning can elicit very useful information. Mr. Sausarun can confirm or deny the information that's contained in these statements, but either way, uh, we will be further informed if we use these statements. I will, um, of course, continue to re refer to this witness under his pseudonym, but I do think it would be the most effective way to proceed, because if we have to wait for this witness to appear in court, by then we will never be able to confront Mr. Sausarun with what this witness has stated. So I am at your mercy. Um, I think it's highly relevant to confront the witness with these statements, and I wait for your uh, position on this uh, matter.
ຈຸດແດ່ມັນສະດັບໃນຕຳນານສົມຂອງລູກໂດຍມີ <coughs> Hang đầm nàng sắp đi nhá. Nàng sắp đi nhá. Mr. President, um, Look at uh, the court has uh, previously stated a ruling uh, that, uh, pardon me, I'll continue, my uh, translator went out, but I'll continue with my statement. Um, the court has previously ruled uh, that uh, only statements of witnesses who will not testify, testify uh, can be used. Um, uh, the, the reason, the reasoning of that uh, is known to the trial chamber. I, um, our view is that uh, we do not have any objection uh, if the trial chamber feels it's appropriate, and in particular if the passage uh, directly relates to something within the witness's knowledge uh, and that the uh, witness who will be coming is not identified. Uh, if all of those uh, 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 things are satisfied, um, we would not obje object to it, um, but it is uh, at your discretion, as you previously uh, stated, a ruling related to the use of statements of witnesses who will appear. Oui, Monsieur le Président, en ce qui nous concerne, nous n'avons pas d'objection non plus, étant entendu bien sûr que toutes les parties bénéficient exactement des mêmes droits par la suite. C'est tout. C'est ការពីក្តីលោកនុនជាអាចប្រើប្រាស់ខ្លឹមសារនៃឯកសារកំណត់ហេតុស្ដាប់សកីកម្មសក្សីទីស៊ីដាវលូ Thank you, Mr. President. I, um, we'll gladly proceed, but regarding the statements, I have a number of questions I'm looking at the clock. I'm having happy to post them now or uh, after the break, as you wish. Thank you, Mr. President. លោកមេត្តាវីតាលោកធានាថាការបង្ហាញឯកសារនៅលើ
Mr. President, uh, thank you for raising the point that's actually one of the uh, issues I would like to address. I think it would be better to uh, safeguard the confidentiality if I simply read from uh, the excerpts that I would like to, the witness to respond to. All the parties have access to, uh, to this document, so they can all check that I'm doing so in an accurate way. And in that way, we don't have to worry about uh, revealing confidential information. That's the way I would propose to proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. So I will not ask to have the statement put up on the screen, but the statements that I'm referring to is um, D200-4, or also known as E3-57, and English ERN is 00290508. And my ERN is 00287705. And I apologize, I don't have the French ERN. In this statement, Mr. Sarun, witness, 307105 Answer is, during, Tassarun, during the Tassarun era, the arrests of whole families were made, but I don't know where those families were taken to be killed. Mr. Tassarun, do you remember that during your reign, arrests of entire families were made? มีการจับคลวนมนุษย์ตัวมวยครัวซาตึงมูลช่างแบบเด้แบบนึงแบบได้หรือเด้บาดคุ้มสมสลายคืออาจมีเด้มันได้จับจนนัดครัวซาตึ
นายจับเกเรียบจำพุ่มก็เกได้เลยเจียงเมียนถ้าจับจองนับอาเมียนท่านท่านท่านท่านท่านท่านท่านท่านท่านท่านท่านท่านท่านท It's the same document. Oh, no. Excuse me. It is document E3/58. Here in 00250088. My here in 00239936. And here, witness 307 states the following, and I quote: Those who were brought for re-education in Phnom Penh Dam Security Office include those who broke discipline, committed immoral offences, stealing and robbery, and work evasion. In each case. The offender has to prepare a biography. The center never made any order to the K-17 office for any arrests. Is that your experience, Mr. Sarsaroon, that the center never made any order to the K-17 office for any arrests? มาอันแมนเดมันเอลมันเอลจับมันเอลจองตีบาทตีรบรบนะเบอร์กีปากกาตีตีปลากาให้กีมันเห็นเธอเลยนะมาคุณลุงมีจุบีเลยนี่ดอกปีสมบูรณ์สมรักให้อันนี้เป็นประกาศสำหรับมาพิจิตรจะเป็นปีนี้ตัวเตอร์โหดดอมองใบสมจริงจูบเป็นยังไม่เป็นต่อไปจำนวนการสมาชิกคนไทยรอดบาตลาการสมบูรณ์รวมประดับอะไรนะครับดอลสัตย์สี่หนึ่งมีทีวีปรึกษาสัตย์สี่ให้หนึ่งอันจริงก่อนบอกการไกลปฏิกิริยาการวิ่งเดี๋ยวเราประตูสำนักการนี้ในวิลเลียมองใบสำหรับจงสมกล่าวเชอ